What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. Galaxy Z Fold 6 got a new beta for One UI 7, and it has given it a few new things on here, which is really nice. Um, but this is the change log right here. Here's some of the new things. You can see new features. Uh, you can press and hold the side button to launch the digital assistant, which I'll show you in a moment. Call recording summary converted to text. So when you record a call, it'll automatically convert it to text so you can easily read it. You can create your own stickers and images. Uh, summarize the web page. Uh, edit video sounds as you like, so audio eraser. Natural language based search within settings. Uh, bugs that have been fixed, fixed display errors in battery widget landscape mode, fixed widget letters and overlaps, fixed app and home screen uh, overlap, fixed media card display error and fixed errors in the operation of setting the cover screen. So let's check out some of these new things. The first thing, if you press and hold the power button, you can use Gemini or Google Assistant, whatever you use. And that's shown up in here if you go into settings and then you go down and you go into advanced features, you go to side button. And now when you long press, you have the ability, it used to only be defaulted to Bixby. Now you have your digital assistant. I have Google obviously, and you can choose other ones as well, such as ChatGPT or Alexa or Firefox. So really convenient now. Uh, it does obviously lose you the option of pressing and holding this to bring up your power menu, but it allows you to use your assistant, which I'm gonna try out, see how I like it or not, uh, but very cool. All right, I'm getting a call. I'm gonna answer it. And I'm gonna start recording. Tap uh, the record button right here. You can see before recording starts, it's gonna tell the person. All right, it's being recorded now, blah, blah, blah. What's going on? So nice to meet you. I hope we have a great day. Let me know what's going on. We'll talk soon. Bye. All right, I hung up the call. Go home. I'm going to swipe down. And I can see that recording saved and transcript generated. So I can tap on that. I'm going to allow. And you can see exactly what I said here. I can even summarize it if it was really long. So uh, AI can do that for me, which is really, really cool. Um, it tells me who the person was, which says wireless caller because I don't have that extra phone number saved in my phone. Tap this. I can delete the transcript. If I want to summarize it, you'll see. I don't even know if it's going to summarize this, but let's just see. <laughs> Her recordings initiated. Greetings were exchanged. Expressing. Yeah. So like, you know, we can see how it's kind of interesting there okay on this one this is going to be audio eraser so i can tap it i can hit the ai button it's going to think for a moment here i'm going to hit okay and it's going to analyze the sound for me and i can come in here with audio eraser and remove things so for instance if i don't want the music in there i can just tap um mute or i can even I can uncheck mute. I can drag it if I wanted to still hear it but not be as loud. But maybe I just want to mute it. Maybe there's some other background noises, wind, things like that that I don't want in there. I can mute those out. And then when I want to hear this, I can just play it. Data really drives change. Okay, Samsung. And that works. So remove some of the sounds on there and you can save it. So that's audio eraser. You can search for things like, say you don't know where something is, but you like, you want to uh, make the screen uh, less bright, but you don't know exactly where that is. So you can speak naturally to it. You can either type it or you can just say it. How do I dim my screen? And it brings me exactly where I need to be. I might, it's still giving me multiple options, but at least it is a step in the total right direction of finding things for people that don't know where things are in here. If you go into your internet app, your Samsung internet app, we'll just bring it up here. And you can now summarize a page of this uh, button here. I think this was here before, but maybe it wasn't. And I can summarize, I'll go into an article so it's a little bit easier. So if I don't wanna read the article, I can tap this and I can summarize and it will summarize the article for me so I don't have to read the whole article. Really big time saver. So you don't, you know, if there's stuff you don't want to read, you have that option to summarize web pages and things like that through the Samsung internet browser. I don't, you might be able to do it in Chrome. I didn't see it as an option though when I went in here. I don't see any um, buttons. Maybe with this you could. 
probably summarize it with this. Let's just see if you do it with Gemini. Yeah, so yeah, so this summarizes it too. So you can summarize it a couple different ways. Next up is creating your own stickers and images, which was already here before, so maybe I'm in the wrong area, but basically you can come into the gallery app and press and hold on something, and you can save it as a sticker or save as an image, but you could do that before, so I don't know exactly what they mean by creating your own stickers and images. Maybe it's somewhere else. You guys can let me know in the comments down below, but um, yeah, kind of easy way to uh, do something like that. And there you guys go. That is the update for Galaxy Z Fold 6 with One UI 7, the latest one, Beta 3. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.